right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they have the same height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Cannon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fair. Ready. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, a little single collar tie there. <laughs> Whiffs on that offering. Big head kick land. It's 
Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Good punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big kick. Nice body kick. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Ooh, what a punch. back to range. He's hurt! He's hurt! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right. Wow! He's out! It's over! It's over! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.